Hi, Greg Brunch here with another useful technical tip for you. What I want to talk about today is, and I've done videos before where I show that high resistance in a 24 volt circuit can create significant voltage drop in that circuit and then that 24 volt load may or may not function. So I've got a G7 two stage furnace here with way too high resistance in the limit circuit but I wanted you to see it for yourself of what it can do. The other thing I want to point out in this video is this is just one example. Um, high resistance in a limit circuit, high resistance in a pressure switch, it really doesn't matter where that high resistance is at. It can make circuit boards do weird things and you think that maybe you got a bad circuit board when you don't. So it's very important that you're taking the time as a technician to test these circuits. So without further ado, we're going to move on and I'm going to show you what it does when, when you have high resistance in it. Okay, so here we go. The first is starting its ignition cycle. The inducer started. And after we finish our pre-purge with the inducer running, then we should see the igniter start to glow. And that should be happening here in just a second. There, the igniter is now starting to glow. We're getting ready to start our ignition process. So in a second here, you're going to hear that board click. And that's when I want to focus on this meter up here. And it's going to give you a, what voltage is getting out of the board to the gas valve. Remember it being a 24 volt load. Remember as I said we got high resistance in the limit circuit, I already tested that. So all we're getting to that valve was 11.6 volts, which is not near enough to energize that gas valve. So as you can see, it tried to light, it didn't light, and now it's going to try again here in just a second. Now it's trying again, the igniter's glowing. After our warm up period for the igniter, then we'll hear the click in the board and it's gonna send power to the gas valve. Now, 11.7 volts is all we got to it. And as if you look over at the circuit board now, that was only two tries, it's supposed to do five tries and then go into one hour lockout. But as I said before, high resistance in the circuit can make circuit boards do really weird things. But if you look at the lights now, we have an alternating flash between the green and red lights. That is one hour lockout. On this furnace, if we just find that bad limit, because as I said before, it's got high resistance in it, I already tested that circuit. But once we replace that limit, then we should be back to normal operation with the furnace. Hope you found this tech tip useful. Keep tuning in to edsechhvac.com for more useful tips. Thank you.